that noise right there of an engine running is one of my biggest pet peeves of America. Why, why, why in America do people not turn off their engines? Now, if it's 20 degrees out and they're trying to sleep and they need some warmth in their cab, I can understand. If it's 110 degrees out and they're trying to keep it cool in the cab, I understand. But it's beautiful, 52 degrees here Fahrenheit, which is really comfortable. It's comfortable to walk in. And if you're inside of a truck that's cold, it gets warm in five minutes just with letting sunlight through the windows. It's bogus. This is a huge difference between Europe and the USA. And it's a battle I don't know how to fight, but I'd love suggestions in the comments. How can we convince operators of big vehicles, and it's not just trucks, because buses are the same. You know, in Europe, if you're in a city bus, when it gets to a bus stop, not a bus station, just a bus stop, they turn off the engine. They let on two or three passengers, they start the engine. They get to a next bus stop, they turn off the engine. They let on a passenger, they turn on the engine. Why do we have to have engines running all the time? And even in the instance in the US in extreme temperatures, you know, trucks and buses are capable of having an uh, auxiliary generator for things like air conditioning and heating so that if they're in this situation stopped needing energy but not driving they can turn off their main engine and start a little generator that uses 90 percent less energy or something along those lines help me out guys i mean one of the, my thoughts is i could just flat out vlog my way over to a truck driver and start talking to him about my car say hey you want to take a spin in a Tesla and then just kind of try to warm things up and start the conversation and see if I could convince them to turn off their engine well wait a second did you hear that it just stopped do you think he heard me talking I mean I'm not live streaming so he didn't see me on YouTube listen to that now now it's quiet and now can you hear that humming noise that is the sound of another Tesla charging. See how much better life is with no truck noises. I like the sound of a diesel engine, but come on, only when it's needed.